America. Oakland's mayor wakes up to this. Vandals strike in the middle of the night. The messages they left spray painted all over her home. There is no room in a democracy for this kind of behavior. Good evening, I'm Alan Martin. And I'm Veronica De La Cruz. KPX 5's Andre Borba is live at City Hall with the mayor's message to the people behind the attack. Andrea? Well, Alan and Veronica, the mayor said in a statement today that the attack did not advance democracy. It is something her neighbors agree with as well. Scrawled in spray paint on the retaining wall of Mayor Libby Schaaf's home, it reads, Wake Up Libby, which is exactly what happened in the Oakland neighborhood as protesters turned vandals arrived hours after midnight. At about 2 o'clock in the morning, I hear very loud noises and explosions going on in the neighborhood, and that woke me out of a sound sleep. About 2 o'clock in the morning, we, our whole house woke up, and she actually saw the sky light up. Those explosions were fireworks and were accompanied by spray paint painted messages, some profane on the sidewalk, and even more on the mayor's garage door, right beneath a Black Lives Matter poster in a window. I don't really like this to happen. It's, it's, just, it's just full of hate. The mayor's office issued this statement. This attack designed to intimidate the mayor and strike fear into her family will not stop her from advocating for the policies she believes are in the best long-term interests of her beloved hometown. Like all Oaklanders, she supports passionate protest, but does not support tactics meant to harm and terrorize others. Neighbors say the early morning protest and vandalism are counterproductive. Those people who peacefully protest, who aren't making a mess and leaving trash and destroying uh, someone's property, um, that I respect. Uh, and I agree with uh, the need for us to make some changes with our police department. So I'm right there with them. But when people damage property, it defeats our cause. Community activist and one-time Shaft mayoral opponent Kat Brooks doesn't approve of the tactics. Our should people have, have vandalized Lee's home? Nah, that, that shouldn't happen. Um, are people incredibly angry with her? Yeah. So, Andrea, part of the tension here has been overcut to the Oakland Police Department. Can you tell us where that stands right now? Well, as we speak right now, there are some negotiations happening in City Hall, likely via Zoom because of the pandemic. Talking about cutting about $14.6 million from the Oakland police budget. The mayor's opponents say that is uh, smoke and mirrors, that not all of that money is actually being pulled from the police budget in this move to defund the police. And that is part of the reason for the vandalism and fireworks and very early morning protest.